A sylph is a juvenile seraph, one of the glorious clan of seraphim of the angelic realm. A baptismal sylph awakens to its seraph nature as the person it befriended in childhood when the sacrament of baptism was performed attains Christ consciousness or awakening. At first, as it awakens, it seems that its wings are covering its eyes. Then, after a while, they begin to flutter open just a little and its eyes open. With a joyful smile, it revels at the dazzling, ever-changing light show of creation. As Christ consciousness or awakening begins, the person senses a stirring of light and loving kindness in the heart, as if the heart were waking up from a deep sleep. Then, perhaps for the first time, the person senses the presence of another being, overlaying the heart in dimensions higher than mere physical form. Like a baby chicken emerging from its shell, this bright being pushes and strains outward, urged by an instinct it cannot understand to emerge in a never-before-experienced form. Thus the transformation begins of baptismal sleeping sylph to wide awake baptismal seraph. When the time comes, the young seraph bursts forth in power and light and splendor from the egg or chrysalis dwelt in by its softly sleeping juvenile form. In this image, you can see the differences in size between a young baptismal seraph and an awakening baptismal sylph. In the many years after a baptismal sylph awakens to its seraph nature, the seraph grows in size, splendor, and power, in upwelling and outpouring exaltation in God's holy nature. For some while, perhaps months or years, the baptismal seraph hovers protectively near its baptismal person. As the young baptismal seraph grows in power and splendor before the Lord, its baptismal person's heart also blossoms into a brilliant orb that glows and spins and at times bursts forth radiantly in waves of healing light for earth and her beings. In time, after the transformation to adulthood, the baptismal seraph grows to such strength and glory in God's wisdom and grace that it scarcely can fit into a building of normal size, and it leaves the physical presence of its baptismal person setting forth joyfully to explore the wonders of God's creation. In spirit, though, the two, baptismal seraph and baptismal person, 
are never separate during the lifetime of the baptized person. The raiment of a fully grown baptismal seraph comprises an ever-changing, multicolored display of light in the most brilliant of hues, much like the magnificent dance of the northern lights in the skies of Scandinavia. Just as the auroras of the North Pole send healing energies all over Earth, the raiment of a baptismal seraph sends healing energies to its baptismal person and to people and places nearby. And in this image, you can see the differences in size among a grown-up baptismal seraph on the left a young baptismal seraph in the middle and an awakening baptismal sylph on the right. If the baptismal person calls it seraph, no matter how far away the seraph may be, it will all in a trice return to its charge, filling the space in which that person stands with a softly glowing, many-colored, ever-changing effulgence. Its human's heart also grows in beauteous light that glows softly or shines forth brightly as Mother Earth's magnetosphere dances to the many melodies of our sun. <laughs>